Hello Internet. My name is Roro and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's having a good day. Today I wanted to talk about how I always assume that people don't remember who I am. And this can be people that I meet a few times. This can be people that I actually was friends with and I just haven't seen in a while. And there's a couple reasons for this that are valid, but there's also a couple reasons that aren't so valid. So let's get into it. So the first thing I think people have experienced, it's pretty common, at least I think it is, where you'll meet like, let's say a friend of a friend who's involved in the same type of thing that you're doing, or you're at least living an adjacent life to them through your friend, where you'll, you'll meet them, you know, it'll be a kind of brief and then that'll be it. And then you'll see them again and you'll kind of like meet them a second time where like maybe you don't really remember them even. And you're like, oh yeah, I kind of remember that initial time we met, blah, blah, blah. Nice to meet you again kind of thing. And then once that happens, I feel like both people pretty much are familiar with each other at least. But there's always people that I'll meet and I'll remember them. And I feel like I'll meet them, you know, three, four times. And they always like act like it's the first time they've ever met me. And maybe sometimes it is genuine. They just meet more people than me, which is probably true for most people because I don't really meet too many people on a daily basis. So maybe there's, you know, that's relevant to some degree. But I also feel like a lot of times it'll be like other artists or other musicians that I'm meeting that are kind of in the same place or realm as me. And it feels like a way for them to kind of big time me. I'm like, I know you know who I am because you're close with my friend and my friend has definitely at least mentioned me or you've seen something on social media and we've met multiple times. So why are you acting like you don't know who I am? And I think it's just like an ego thing. It's really weird. People want to seem more important than they actually are. And an easy way to do that is to put down people that are on the same level as them. And when I say level, I just mean like success, career, whatever you want to call it. Like, because that's how this shit works, unfortunately, at least in the art music world. People really care about that more than anything now, I would say. It's just like clout. And it's really annoying. And I feel like clout leads to people putting themselves at this high place because they have to feel like they're this big, famous, successful artist in order to actually become that. Which, to an extent, you know, there is some validity to that. You got to put your mind to it. But it's really just all about optics, and it's not about reality. But unfortunately for me, I think most of the time, this isn't because of people having egos. It's because of me having no self-worth and no self-esteem. So I just assume that I'm such a forgettable person that people that I've known and interacted with will not remember me at all if we don't interact for like a couple years, which obviously isn't true. There's been so many moments where I've been proven wrong because somebody will just remember me without me even saying anything. So it's really just like a self-esteem thing, I think. A good example of this is I have a friend who I've known since I was like 13, 14, and I met another person through him. And we're all artists, you know, we all kind of hung out throughout our teenage years, high school, and I stayed connected to my original friend, but I didn't stay as connected to the friend that I met through him. And I didn't see him for probably five years. And then one day I was with my friend talking, hanging out. And he was like, oh, so-and-so is having an art show. Do you want to come? And I was like, oh yeah, definitely. That'd be so cool. And I went and when I got there, I saw him and I was like, well, I don't even want to like go up to him and talk to him because he probably doesn't even remember who I am. And my partner was like, what are you talking about? Like, of course he knows who you are. Aren't you friends with him? And I was like, well, I was when I was younger. And she was like, that's ridiculous. Like, go, just go talk to him. And then as I was thinking all of these things, he came up to me and he like said my name and was like, how's it going? And I was like, oh my God, of course. <laughs> Hopefully that story made sense. I don't know. And I feel like I've really internalized this image of myself that I am not somebody who's worth remembering and it's fully just because of like my own internal problems you know there are a couple examples like i said in real life but nothing too bad where i've been like berated or anything you know 
It's definitely all just coming from within myself. And that makes it really hard to try to put myself out there because I don't have like outward confidence. You know, I feel comfortable within myself most of the time. And no matter what situation I'm in, I usually am able to feel fine, like in groups of people or what have you. It's not necessarily my favorite thing to do, but I have enough confidence where I can just like be there. I don't feel like I have to fully cater to the situation like I once did. But I don't have that real confidence to just put myself out there and like show people my art and what I work on and what I'm passionate about because I think because of these internal self-esteem issues I have, I don't fully put my whole passion into my art. So when it's done, I don't feel fully confident in it enough to even really stand behind it. And that's a huge problem. And it applies to other aspects of my life. And the reason that's such a huge problem is because Art and music are my passion, you know? It's like the only thing that I'm good at, the only thing I really like doing. So these issues are getting in the way of me, like fully pursuing it, even just for myself, not even for a career for other people, literally just so that I can make the best art that I can make. My self-esteem is getting in the way of it. And I've had times in my life in the past where I've been much more of a pushover. I still am to an extent. But I used to be like a classic doormat type of person. I'm definitely not that anymore. I have better boundaries and better ways to like preserve myself. But that still definitely seeps into my life in general. And it's something I still need to work on just to be more confident and be more strong. I need to be like Toph from Avatar The Last Airbender. I need to be an earthbender and just be sturdy and just stand stand within myself and not let anyone knock me over. You know what I mean? (laughs) For anyone who's seen that show, you'll get that reference. (laughs) But anyway, I think that's it for this video. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, We're getting close to 100 subscribers on this channel, which is blowing my mind. I've been getting a lot more views lately and a lot more people coming in and interacting and, you know, commenting and being a part of the conversation. So that's really, really awesome. Uh, I do want to start to maybe branch out a little bit from this channel, maybe start a Discord server or start doing occasional live streams on here, maybe on Twitch. So maybe give me some ideas in the comments of what you would want to see. I'm not 100% sure I'm even going to do that because I really like the structure on my channel that I have. So I don't want to throw that off too much. But if you have any ideas or think something would be a good idea, just let me know. And if you like this video, I have a bunch of other videos on my channel. I talk about a lot of the same topics and I put out a new video every Sunday. So you can come back next week for a new one. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.